it feels fantastic. Uh, I don't really know what to say. It just really does feel awesome. Um, it was it was uh, nail biting watching everyone try to knock me off for about half an hour, but uh, and it, it started to get a bit cooler as well, which worried me because uh, I mean the sun's gone right behind the clouds now. It meant the track could potentially get faster. But uh, luckily, I managed to hang on by the skin of my teeth. It was really close. Yeah, the car felt great. Uh, I didn't need to make any ad adjustments during the run that I felt. Um, you know, it's touch and go whether to use good pieces here. Pat Steeny and I apparently were uh, like three, one thousand separated. You know, he stayed in fifth on the whim and I shifted up to sixth. Um, you know, who knows? Uh, but, you know, it's a solid run. I had a car underneath me. Learned um, the first couple of qualifying sessions and uh, just applying, you know, Rick Mears' uh, technique. Uh, the car was really good. Uh, we struggled all morning uh, just with balance, overall grip, but everything really. And uh, we improved for the second session. But the car still wasn't great, uh, but race setup for qualifying is a little bit different. Uh, I've been working with Doug Zester, my engineer, uh, in 2005 and 6. Uh, so we've got a good history together, and uh, he generally has a, a knack for being able to pull out of me. Uh, so we went about as far as we thought for qualifying, and uh, the first time that was great, uh, would have put us on pole. And then unfortunately we had a fuel surge or a fuel pickup problem uh, in the second lap coming out of two, and just lost about 300 RPM uh, when the motor died, and uh, it took, took the whole back straight to pick it back up. And, when it's that close at the front, you can't afford anything to go wrong. So, you know, the pole slipped away, uh, unfortunately, but on the other hand, uh, we're in a lot better shape than we were this morning.